and this is the bicycle repair shop in the kitchen. I've been having a flat and I tried to fix it using this dollar store repair kit. That patch, as you can see here, uh, didn't last very long. It about, lasted about 10 seconds and then the air started bubbling out. So my friend gave me uh, some ancient technology instead, a 50 year old bike patch kit. So it's like clamp and combustible patches. Well, let's see how this works. I think how it's supposed to work is it is you stick the rubber and the rubber together and then you put a light it on fire and from the heat it's supposed to melt together. So let's see what we can melt here. Let's verify the hole is here. There it is. I roughen it up a little. So we're doing this real time and I've never used this repair kit before. My friend is out of way from home and he supposedly hasn't used it in 50 years either. So that might do something. So this is the actual patch. It has hmm. Well, here's the hole. I guess they didn't have these. It's still sticky after 50 years. Imagine that. So here's the hole. Here goes the patch. Here goes the fuel. And I'm gonna clamp it on using this high-tech clamp. High tech, 50 year old technology. And didn't come with an instruction manual, so we make things up as we go along. I don't know if I should add some fuel to this or if it's just gonna burn like that. Do you have any input on that, Alan? I, I heard you've I seen think those before. You have to heat this one. Yeah, that's what the flame is for. Mm -hmm. You like this, but do you have to add fuel to it or it'll just burn like that? We used to have a metal and put it on a fire and put it there and clump it. You mean you burn it first? The way Max explained it is I like this now. Maybe. Uh, we'll find out. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can find a match. All right, I found a lighter. Now I just have to get it to work. Oh, this is, what is this? Childproof lighters. I don't like that. Oh, I can't deal with this. I might have to cut this out of the video. Well, Uh-oh, I think it's broken. No. Oh yeah. All right, now we have a non-childproof lighter. And let's light it. Oh. Hey, wow. it smell bad here. The smoke alarm is gonna go off. It's a firework. Hey. Oh look, it's all bubbling and melting. No, no, don't, 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 don't. It, it will take it a little while. How I much? I could tighten it. It seems to have gotten hot enough that it melted. It melted all right. Well, I open the door. No, oh, uh, important note, don't ever do this inside. It sets up this little firework which smells real bad. It, I'm surprised the fire alarm hasn't gone off. I obviously our batteries must be dead. But anyway, so if you look at it a little more closely, you see it all melted. And I guess now I'm just gonna wait 
for it to turn solid and then see what happens when I open this. We'll be back in a little while. Alright, we're back. We let it dry for like 20 minutes. So it's still a little sticky to the touch. Let's see what happens if we open it now. It's, at least it's cold. So I'm opening up the clamp and uh, see what happens in all this. Okay, so the clamp is still there. Oops. Careful with the ashes. Yeah, especially uh, since I'll be wearing this for my interview tomorrow. So this needs to come off. I don't know how to do it. It still sticks? It still sticks. Maybe you don't have to do that if it still sticks. Oh, I have to get it off while I can. Okay. So we definitely uh, have something sticky on here. And, you know, it's kind of cracked. If I see this right, it doesn't look like it'll be 100% airtight. There's all these cracks and holes. But hey, it was a fun experiment. I'll let this dry overnight. And tomorrow I'll get back to this and see if it's solid enough that it'll actually hold air. I'll be back tomorrow. So after letting it dry overnight, this is what it looks like. There is rubber melted on here. It's still sticky to the touch. And there's these cracks. So I'm really curious what happens if I take the trusted pump and try to blow up this tire, this newly fixed tire. Okay, trying to do it one-handed. Uh, Single-handedly blowing up tire. All right, that's attached. Here's the questionable spot. Let's see what happens. Can we blow some air in there? Now I cannot do this quite single-handed. Hmm. I don't hear anything. I don't see anything. I guess I'm gonna keep this as a spare. Well, let's call it a success for now. I wonder if this is this little bubble here. I wonder if that's the spot where the hole was. Anyway, I'll keep it updated. If I ever get to use this, I'll update how long it lasted. And here's the final result after I let the hose sit around for a couple days. You see it's all flat. Well, I guess it wasn't quite good enough. And here's the final result. You can hear the air coming out. Doesn't hold. Sorry. I guess I'm going to go back to regular new fashioned patch tape with glue.